Hello everyone, I've counted your votes, and the card that you wanted me to talk about is Doctor, Adventurer, World-Renowned Explorer, Harrison Jones. That belongs in a museum. Harrison Jones, the name is a combination of the character Indiana Jones and the actor who played him, Harrison Ford. If you've seen the Indiana Jones movies, then you know the story of the characters, but for those that have not, in game, we saw him for the first time during the Burning Crusade, where he advised adventurers to go back to wherever they came from and leave Zuleman alone. This is no place for lighthearted adventurers. It will chew up the likes of you and spit out your bones. We thank him for his concern, but of course, there's treasure to be had, and we don't listen to his warning. After putting on his hat, Harrison helps us with opening the gate by beating the gong, and in its cruel twist of fate, it's actually Harrison that instantly gets shot down by the trolls, but it will take more than that to keep him down. During Wrath of the Lich King, we Within the Drakilzin ruins, we find Harrison imprisoned and about to be sacrificed. Not to worry though, he's about to make a break for it, and as long as we stick with him, we'll be sure to get out of there as well. Instead of us escorting the NPC, it's actually Jones that escorts us, while also rescuing Adara and beating the crap out of a giant snake. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Afterwards, he vanishes into thin air only to resurface during the Cataclysm, where his biggest adventure to date would take place. Explorer Maui in Deepholm has figured out that the pyramid at the Maker's Terrace in Uldum is nothing of the sort. The pyramid is actually a giant machine that can be reconfigured for any number of uses, and it's Deathwing that wants to have the Twilight's Hammer turn it into a massive weapon. We have to take the portal back to Stormwind and inform Harrison, since he'll know what to do. At the Royal Library, we find Jones with a couple of his students, one of them is bashing her eyelashes. Jones tells us to continue our research and make our way into the forgotten lands of Uldum. But our caravan is attacked by the local pygmies and they sell us for a bunch of coconuts. Being imprisoned won't do, so Adra breaks us out, but comes up with a crazy plan and Mac wants revenge. He sends us to Kartut's tomb to give them little buggers what's coming to them, but at the tomb we find out that Harrison has beat us to it. He's looking for the Coffer of Promise, which should be inside the chamber, so we try to to blow open a door, but as we do, a pygmy attacks, the fire is knocked on the floor, and we quickly jump into the coffers to survive the explosion. Harrison does not give up easy though, and the Coffer of Promise is what drives his storyline within Uldum. We visit several temples, destroy a few ancient titan statues, uncover the secrets in the zone, until we figure out that the Black Dragon Deathwing, he's allied himself with Commander Snots and Eleku the Windlord, in order to gain access and use the titan weapon capable of reordinating all life on Azeroth. This is the same weapon that would have been used if we didn't change Elgalon the Observer's mind back in Uluar. So keeping this weapon away from Deathwing is a very good plan. After a very big adventure, escaping a fire squad, murdering countless of snotsmen, after enduring many cinematics and Indiana Jones references... We finally discover the cover's location and we remove its protection. Snot congratulates us on a job well done, is ready to murder us on the spot, but it seems like all of us are far too late. Bren Bronzebeard is two steps ahead of us, as always, as he pops out of the chest and uses his power to take out Snots, as well as his dragon allies. Now Jones, he was planning on bringing the coffer back to his lab to study it, but Bren thinks that he knows of a way to put a stop to Deathwing's plans in Uldum. After transporting the coffer to the Cradle of the Ancients, we open it up, we reveal the Titan Discs that were hidden inside, and Bren can use these discs to disable the Doomsday Weapon. We help with this task in the Dungeon Halls of Origination, even though, in the end, the machine rejects the discs and Bren ends up cutting the wire, but Harrison Jones did not play a part in this dungeon. His destiny led him to alternate Drenor, first to Arthran and then later to the player's garrison, where he offers them sweet rewards in exchange for finding a few relics. Complete all six quests and Dr. Jones will offer his service to you as a follower within the garrison. That's where his story ends for the moment, but you can be sure that the adventures of Indiana Jones, or in this case WoW's version called Harrison Jones, they're not stopping anytime soon. Jones has been spotted riding the minecarts within Silver Shard Mines, and he popped up as an easter egg within Heroes of the Storm, this man won't quit, and where there's treasure to be found, the place within his museum, he'll be there. Ladies and gentlemen, with that we've come to the end of the video. As always, I'll leave it up to you guys and girls to decide what card we're going to talk about next, so leave your suggestion in the comments down below. Subscribe if you like my videos, leave a like if you enjoyed this one, and until next time guys, see ya! That belongs in a museum! So do you!